What's up, bitches? It's Noisy Face. I'm having to rethink how I do my intros and things because I keep breaking my mic and I want it to sound good. Look, we're on episode four, generation three. Two, three, two. We got a farm, a nice little farm. Eventually, I do want to build a little pond, put a little patchy the straw man. But look, I need to try to be a comedian, and my wife needs to try to be a famous singer songwriter. Let's talk about that. She's already she's already in there, spraying for bugs. Well, well, Thistle's gonna he's gonna weed and sell some things, little chickens. The gardening is done. What do you do? I mean, I go inside and I play fetch with my dog. Come here, dog. You want play fetch? Where are you at, bro? You're outside? All right, let's 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 play fetch. It'll be fun. You and me. I'm going to throw this ball any day now. Go get it. Go get it. Put it. Go get it. Oh, my God. He's so freaking cute. Get your hamburger. All right, Mary Bell, I know you love music. So you go in here, you go in here and bow some inspiration. Oh, you don't have to have a piano, by the way, to um, write songs. You just have to write them on the current instrument that you have. She, she doesn't look very pleased to be playing this. He's starting to get stressed from training, so I have him out here just loving. Loving on little bottle pants. <laughs> oh, oh, she found a frog. Okay, well, that means that she can give her frog. Thistle can take this frog, right? Yes. And then can't we, um, yes. Make more frogs. All right, I'm spending a bit of money here. I need a dining room table. I need some chairs. I mean, all right, well... I only have $72 now, but okay. It's all right. This house is looking pretty good. Mom, I love you. <laughs> I love you, Mom. But I don't want to join your bowling clubby, okay? I, I'm a farmer now. I want to farm. And I want to nap. I want to nap on my lounge, okay? <gasps> Poseidon has wanted to know if I want to go over to his house today. No, but... You can come over the next time we have a day off. As a matter of fact, we should have like a party here and have all my siblings come around, come around to hang out with me. That would be a good idea. Look at that evolution out the wazoo. Man, I needed that bee box a lot earlier than when I got it for Jack. I didn't know it helped you evolve your plants, okay? I didn't know that. Three o'clock in the afternoon. They both have work in two hours. They're taking a little nap on their bed. Oh, I do really like them. They're a very adorable couple. I was in love with Jack and Dory, and Daisy and Fabian was kind of eh for me. Huddle, what have we talked about, bro? Quit, quit waking your mom up. She's sleeping. You have no need to be barking, I say, as my own dog barks for no reason. Oh, good job, Puddle. You're so smart. They're both, they're both off to work in their weird, their weird red outfits that they wear when they go to work. Oh, I don't know if that's just her hair, but it's, it is pretty cute that the scarf matches what she wears. But anyway, I also still don't know why he puts on makeup, but it's, it's how he do. Right, Maribel is home. She got, so she got promoted. I was going to say, did he not get promoted? Maribel has been promoted to C-lister. No, Thistle did not get promoted. Bro, that sucks. That sucks for you, bro. Maybe that could be his motivation for why he drops out at level five. He's like, this stuff comes naturally to you. And I just am not, I'm not a good comedian. I've wanted to tell jokes my whole life, and you just get up there, and you sing, and you do your you, and you're better at it than I am. I kind of wanted his uh, his motivation to change his career is that this career has, like, late night hours, and that they have kids, and so he wants to be at home and spend more time with the kids, but maybe he's just, like, crappy. 
He's crappy at the job, but he doesn't want to do it. He doze off in the bathtub again. Oh my word, this will... You sleeping in the bathtub is like... It's like the staple of this series. Go to bed, bro. This will has a thousand points. And I thought I had gotten him mentor, but I didn't. So I think I should... Yeah, I think I should, since he wants to have the high parenting and all that jazz. Oh, my dog wants to go for a walk. I feel like I can have her take the dog for a walk. Go on walk, short walk. This is gonna learn some guitar. He is getting actually pretty good at it. Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Outfit are you wearing, girl? Oh, look, she's in one of her little country bumpkin -y ones where she still has, like, the... The high boots that she wore when we met her and then she's got like this cute little sweater. I love it. I love I love the two outfits. I've never done that before and it's so much fun. Come on, puddle. I got eight hours before I gotta go to work and I and I waited. Do all my work stuff and take you for a walk. Maybe she's more successful because she's like focused. Oh, look at her. Oh, he's so darn cute. Anyway, maybe she's more <laughs> successful because she's focused all the time. Her heart really is in music and performing, and he's just kind of like, yeah, I like telling jokes. People thought I was entertaining when I was younger. Don't even start, Puddle. Puddle, do you not like the chickens? Puddle's like, I don't, I don't know how to feel. Oh my god, he's like afraid of the chicken. Puddle. Oh, puddle. I think we have enough money now to do two things. I think we can buy the portrait. Yep, here's our family portrait, and we're literally going to take this one. That looks like, why is the heck doing that? Okay, we're going to take this one that looks like we're on a farm, and we're going to slap it up here. Oh, puddle. Puddle doesn't know about this. Puddle would have rather been a city dog, I think. Now, the other thing I want to try to do is, because I do want to get them a llama, I want to try to expand this out just a bit. Never mind the expansion, this, because this animal shed is gigantical. So we're going to put this here. And then, can we afford, oh my god, we have $500. Alright, can we afford a llama? <laughs> I want to buy a llama. I want to buy a llama. Buy a llama. I can buy a llama. Do I want a beige llama or a white llama? I think I want a white llama. Beautiful. What is this animal named? I should see what your name is. Dolly? Well, I don't like that. I'm gonna name you Snowball. Snowball the llama. <laughs> Perfect, and then I should probably, okay, I don't need to feed or whatever that. I should probably come and get to know you, tell you a joke. All right, I'm now companions with Puddle, so that's good. Oh, good boy, Puddle. You saw a fox. Okay, who do I want to, you stop doing that. You go say, stop that. Fox, and now my rooster is a full on. Is a full on. This is uh my hen, I think. Is my full on hen. Okay, cool. Puddle, I heard you. Thank you for letting me know that there was a fox outside. Hello. No vegetables for you. Can you please leave my chickens alone? I would enjoy that if you would. Bye. Goodbye. Here she goes. She's gonna say hi to old Snowball here. Hi, Snowball. How you doing? I've always wanted a llama. Don't mind me shaving you. Yeah, it's a it's a good good old time. Uh, did you like that? I'm not quite sure what that face is about, but let me talk to you about penguins and all things penguin. And there's another fox. There's another fox. In my yard, I did turn this on, to be fair. If it gets annoying, I'll turn it off. But, like, hey, look, I'm tired. I need to go to bed. I would really appreciate it if you would go home. Yep, go fly in your rocket or whatever it is you do. 
Oh man, he goes to work in like 42 minutes and he's exhausted. <laughs> the same with her, like she's pretty tired. I sent her up here to take a nap. But then, but then Puddle decided to wait. I thought you learned not to wake people up, Puddle. The romance festival, how long does that go to? One in the morning? Again, we can maybe go we can maybe go when we get off of work, but we're probably gonna be exhausted, so you know. Chance of a lifetime. Thistle's time on stage is winding down, and he sees the next entertainer waiting in the wings. As he's about to return the microphone to the stand, he notices a man in a business suit take a seat in the back of the club, apart from the crowd. Instead of nursing a drink, he pulls out a notepad and seems intent on taking notes. Could this be the talent agent searching uh, for up-and-coming entertainers? His mind is racing. Thistle has to suddenly decide if he wants to selfishly perform an encore or or seed seed the spotlight. Is that what that means? I don't know. I know our I know our English. Look, Thistle is slightly selfish, so that's whoa! He has started down the path to stardom. He earned his very first fame point, which is nope. Get away! Get away! I'm at work. <laughs> Okay, anyways, anyways, oh, he got fucking promoted, yeah, all right, I'm tempted to have them both leave early and uh, come home for Romance Festival to celebrate, but anyway, um, invigorated, Thistle continues his performance, the crowd in the club surge forward, fists pumping, they were eating out of the palm of his hand, Thistle embraced the spotlight and delivered the performance of a lifetime, as he returned to the green room, he'd nearly forgotten about the man in the suit, but a sharp knock on the door snapped him back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Bump, but oh, I'm famous. <laughs> All right, I got one fame point so I can be noticeable. I can network, and I can have a corporate. Well, I don't upload videos. That could be my second career, though. Uh, he's not level five yet though let's do this that's good um i'm gonna have you leave early yes i'm gonna have you leave early yes because i want you both i want you both to come home so we can go to the romance festival to celebrate let's go to the romance festival <laughs> i realize i'm not being very responsible with them but you know who said who said anything about them having to be responsible? He is very um I mean he was very mischievous growing up, so maybe that's just like ah I'll feed my llama later. Romance festival time. Here with the family lambs and the ice king. Apparently. This girl's gonna have some tea. Hey, give me some advice about my current relationship. I'd really like to know. Uh-huh, writing. Gotcha. I'm, I'm really into that. Dad, why are you here? No one invited you, Dad. Also, when did you get your ear pierced? Or your eyebrow pierced? Fabian, what are you doing? And You got your nose pierced, too? Oh, my God, Fabian. At least your flaws are perfectly matched. That's rude, first of all, but fair. But fair, because that's true. We're both very impulsive. What's what? What do you have to say about me, bro? Okay, flowers. Yeah, I am very romantic. I didn't like whatever it was you said, though. Okay. I see. That's the oddest destiny. Well, don't make any plans. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. All right. They're not going to be able to stay to stay here for very long. At, at ye olde romance festival. Well, he's gonna sit down and drink this weird tea, apparently. Uh, Maribel's just gonna chat it up. <laughs> chat it up with the family and Rad Brad and say like, Hey, Rad Brad, you've let yourself go. First of all, we're home. I'm gonna have him post to his story so that he keeps his fame up. Fame is always really hard for me. I struggle a lot with it. What a cute image. Thistle has gained 12 followers. All right, then I'm going to have him go talk to his dog. And then he needs to go to bed. Yeah, he's tired. He is so tired. Rooster Chick is now fully grown. It'll crow in the morning, try to protect other chickens from foxes. 
and will try to breed with the hens in the same coop. Yay! Also, there's a fox. Prime Maribel's got to save the day here because, because <laughs> there is a fox. <laughs> There's a fox downstairs. I might, I, well, I will have her go back to bed at some point, but there, you know, she went to the romance festival. She's feeling super flirty right now. You can see she's glowing. But uh, anyway, she's gonna go yell at the fox and be like, hey, bro, I know you're old. I know you don't have much to do, but like, please stop. Please get it out. Since they've been to the romance festival, they've been all. All, you know, hanging out, like, hey, this life is really working out the way we wanted it to. I know the, 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 oh my god, my toilet's broken. Well, first of all, my toilet's broken. Second of all, I know that the romance guru was like, hey, uh, you should, um, you should not make any plans, but you know what? It's okay, because... Because we didn't make plans to meet and get engaged and get married, and that's working out well so far. So, you know, Thistle's gonna go eat some meatballs. Um, he also needs to evolve whatever is growing out here to a better plant. I'm not sure why I'm singing uh, Gone with the Wind songs, but you know, you know, I am. He's got enough. Uh, parts in his inventory to go ahead and upgrade the toilet. So I'm going to have him do that. Then he needs to clean this. Can I upgrade you? Yes, I can. I bought her a cross stitching kit because I feel like she would cross stitch. She'd be like, oh yeah, my, my grandma taught me. We don't actually know who her parents are because she's just loaded in from Cass. But that's fine. She's going to play a concerto here, which I do want to hear. She's so serious when she plays. She's like, yes, I am the best. <laughs> right, she's practicing the guitar. Um, I do need to have her eat something. I mean, this is also kind of why, why he's bad at his job. Because I've got him up here fixing everything. Upgrading everything. Because that's how I upgrade. I just put the monkey wrench on the drain and flip it around until it makes clackety clackety sounds. Perfect! That's how you fix anything! Look, she sacrifices her career sometimes, too. She comes out here to weed things and do some gardening and all that jazz. Alright, good. You done with that? Good. Rise and shine! You've got your half energy! Time to go out and take care of your farm! Oh, I do think he likes it, though. I think he likes the change-up of, you know, both going to work and doing the farming. Snowball, you're so dirty. How's it going, Snowball? You need a bath. Okay, Fabio. Oh, damn it. I called him Fabian again. I'm so used to saying Fabian. Thistle, I need you to practice music, okay? Nothing, nothing will stand in your way. You must practice for your job. Right, he got he got fifty percent of the way. I do, I do try to keep them even with. The, he's like, hey, look at me practicing, living that farm life. But you know, the the thing is, he uh, he really is not that good at entertainment as Maribel is. So it's pretty funny that he would just. She's all inspired up here, making her cross stitch. That he would just be like, you know what? Maybe that maybe my heart's not in this job. You look so sad. Oh my gosh. Right. <laughs> Up and at him. No, mom. I have to go to work, mom. I'm sorry. Thank you for the pizza. Bye. Okay. So, Maribel's chance of a lifetime. We know if she performs the encore, then she becomes a celebrity as well. I think. Since Thistle did it, maybe he's like, hey, you should go watch my wife. She's much better at this than I am. So she'll do that, too. Animal jokes. A local animal shelter has invited Thistle to MC their fundraiser, but he forgets to prepare. Should he mine the internet for animal jokes or wing it and hope for the best? Well, I think he's going to wing it. 
because he doesn't want to steal other people's material. Uh, this pack is a little too good at sniffing out the truth. His eyes start to narrow. Thistle starts to stutter and forgets the, the few ideas he came up with on the way. He cuts the intro short and gets on with the bidding. Hopefully, his employers won't notice. Oh, no. You're so bad at this. You're so bad. All right, that's going to go ahead and wrap the episode. Oh, Thistle. All of his dreams and hopes and wants, and he kind of just lump them all together in one happy marriage farm basket and he's finding out that it's not as easy as he would hope his family is trying to keep in touch trying to remind him that he's got to keep those levels green but he will need to switch careers and that will probably be a good thing for him so tune in next time i hope you're enjoying every moment and i will see you then